He thinks about it for a bit. Indecisively, he makes the final petition. You gotta go for it. Can you promise me that you'll forget about me and le let me leave if I do it? Luz takes a moment before answering. Oh, jeez. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you want, sure. I'm not that evil, you know. But I think that I at least I deserve this much, especially after what you've made me do so late at night. Ciaran can't help but smile as he thinks about how she was the one who called him and begged him to see her. I know, y'all know how the old lady was. She was skeptical. <laughs> I know, she could have slammed the door in your face. <laughs> Maybe it's for that reason that he calms down. He breathes slowly as he approaches Luz, confident of himself, until eventually the, dis the distance between them is gone. He puts his hands on Luz's shoulders and opens his eyes wide. Not too wide, I hope. Because of all of this, his face starts trembling. One of Ciaran's hands reaches out and touches her cheek, caressing it softly before holding it firmly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, man, do we have to read all this? No. <laughs> Hold on. I, okay. Uh-huh. Sorry, we're not going to read all this. The lights turn off without notice. Oh, no. The timer went off, placing a dark cloak over the events taking place on the landing. In the same way that lies hide reality, the darkness hides the feelings that develop on this night. But it doesn't matter. There are times when you, you don't need to see anything to understand what the lies are trying to say. All of them have an objective. All of them hide a truth that resonates even stronger for each lie we use to cover it up. And that might be why this is the only way we can be truthful. That sacrifice, the risk we take in lying speaks things for itself that we could never communicate ourselves otherwise. When the lights turn on again, he's already gone. Oh, come on! Alone, trying to understand what happened, she lets the box in her hands fall. Her fingers move to her lips. Oh! He must have kissed her in the dark. And then down to her good. chin. She's unable to find something that she's just lost, something that was stolen from her. That's right, there's something she has to do if she wants it back. She inhales, closes her eyes, and... Thief! Ciaran hears Luz scream even though he's already leaving the building. Yeah, she got to chase them. She runs after him, following him through the dark streets of their town. Little by little, the streets gain color from the rising sun. God, how late is it? A bit later, Ciaran reaches the stone steps on the side of the street. Sorry, I'm reading too fast. While descending them, he trips on the fourth and final step, falling to his knees. Wait, don't come any closer. Didn't you say that you'd leave me alone? What do you want? Oh, a nice picture. <laughs> okay, Lou stops in front of the first step and watches Ciaran from the top. Stand up. Ciaran clicks his tongue, unable to fulfill her order. I told you to stand up. So I can give you a good punch. Grabbing the railing as best as he can, he manages to stand up, suffocating from his own breathing. Oh wow, the music's getting louder. I consider myself to be arrogant, but look at you. Do you think you know everything? You can't decide what's best for me, especially not when you don't even know what you can do unless someone else asks you to do it. You can't measure feelings, CR, nor pain, or maturity, nothing. That's why trying to control everything doesn't make any sense. From conflict we struggle, no matter how hard it may be, we always selfishly keep going because it's from all of this madness that we gain some kind of purpose. Our small hopes create who we are. No matter the ending, you should be happy due to the fact that you had the chance to live it. The sun rises behind Luce's back. Nice timing, sun. This, the rays of sunlight reach everything and everyone, lighting up the street in a special way that he had never seen before. She shines atop of the stairs, unreachable from Ciaran's eyes. Despite thinking that it'd be enough to watch her from afar, deep inside, he knows that he wants more. Oh, I just realized they're outside. <laughs> you just realize that? Yeah. Anyway, Luz leans forward, smiles, and takes the first step down. You don't have to do everything by yourself, you know. Or do you believe that I'm not also partially responsible? Justice or not, it doesn't matter. I wanted to meet you, know you, and connect with you too. Would I have been so pushy if I didn't feel anything for you? Do you think I haven't lied to see where we would end up as well? That's why I want you to come over here to try it again. I'll go down one step, you'll go up another. Then I'll go down another, and if you can't keep up, I'll reach out my hand and help you. Oh. Luz's hand reaches out to Ciaran. 
She touches his fingers carefully, slowly grabbing them until their hands are gently interlaced. You see, if it isn't that hard, it's a game for two. That's why I'm asking you. No, I'm not asking. I'll force you to do it if necessary. Uh, she takes a deep breath, sharpens her eyes, and strengthens her grip on the hand of the person who's slowly going up thanks to her help. Listen well, because this is my fourth and final requirement. CR? Stay with me. Aww. Mm -hmm. That's my boyfriend. I thought she was going to say marry me, but stay with me is kind of the same thing. Aww. Oh, that was Yay. it! Yay. Yay! Oh, and thank you, Kyobre, for making this. I hope you made some other visual novels that are interesting. This one was one roller coaster ride. Yep. That's all you have to say? Yeah. Oh, okay. it was beautiful, not what I expected. Oh, that was a nice little ending. Yay! Actually, my shipping got together, so that's cool. I, I was always shipping Sierron and Luce the whole time during the game. <laughs> my sister would know it, she was there, right? Yep. Oh, and you! That's us, we're the you part. My family, and you! That's us! Sorry, I had to. Based on a story that should be true. Based on a story that I will make true. Finn, we finally finished it, officially. Oh, cool! Look. Oh, that's cute, too. Yeah, cool picture. 